Really quick chance right off the hop there for Cranbrook and went to the front of the net. Rourke Appleby in a save and helped out by Johannes Lockberg to pull it off the crease before the Warriors uh, came back with a good chance of their own. Jack Pridham with an opportunity that was fought off by the right shoulder of Carter Captain. And then a little bit of controversy here. Appleby was knocked down in front. Cranbrook gets the goal and uh, has given themselves a 1-0 lead at that point in the first period. Yeah, and that was uh, and that was uh, pretty tough for, uh, of course, for Rourke Appleby because not only goal, but uh, he, he left the game and... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it, lo it doesn't look great. Yeah, Appleby knocked out of the game, but uh, the Warriors came back and got a goal from Jack Pridham. Was able to find the back of the net on a one-time shot, or from a shot from the right face-off circle that got up and over the glove side of the goal of uh, the netminder and Carter Captain. That gave the Warriors a 1-1 tie, uh, moving into later on in play. And again, Della Russo, you know, came on, played solidly. Wasn't oh, bad at all. You got to give him credit. He came in as a backup and uh, and he won the game. So Jackson Kierkostas got hauled down away from the play. That resulted in a power play and it came into a power play goal for the Warriors. And it's Jack Pridham on a one timer from Isaiah Norland. Beautiful setup by Isaiah Norland. And uh, Jack Pridham is going to get that uh, more times than not. He's got a great shot, really skilled, and uh, it was a really pretty play. Yeah, so a great goal there by Norland, or a great goal there by Pridham to find the back of the net. Gives West Kelowna the 2-1 lead at that point. More pressure toward the front of the goal. The captain was able to steer away from the front of his net uh, with plenty of pressure going in towards the front of the goal. This is kind of just the way that this game was tonight. It was a hard game that was played uh, right in front of the net, and Cranbrook came back. We're able to get this game back to a 2-2 tie on a scramble right in front. Patrick Murphy from the slot able to find the handle and bury a pass the glove side of Della Russo. So Murphy gets the goal there as he picks up the marker and uh, makes it a 2-2 hockey game at that point in period number two before the Warriors had a couple of good looks here. Shane Baker, going to give him credit, blocking that hard shot by Vigo Nordstrom for early in the third period. The Warriors, right after a power play expires, it's Cal Hughes to give West Kelowna one goal lead. Yeah, and a uh, nice shot by Cal Hughes. Uh, uh, Carter Captain usually makes that save, but that one just snuck in between his pads, and uh, the Warriors will take it, Cal Hughes will take it, and that was a 3-2 lead for West Kelowna. So the Warriors got the 3-2 advantage. Jack Farrell thought maybe he found the back of the net on a shot from the right side that went off the post. Warriors had another good look later in that period on a great chance there for Jack Pridham once again. And his shot just went off the outside of the net before it was Cranbrook that uh, came back with a good look here. Their own Tyler Wishart went in tight toward the goal. Della Russo stuck with him the whole way, able to keep that one out with a solid stop. Johannes Lockberg late in the period with a good look, went up and over the left shoulder of captain before Cranbrook cut back and tied the game. Caslow Ferner, top of the left circle, threw it to the front of the net. Shane Baker able to put it in on a redirection through the legs of Della Russo. That tied the game at three and forced our way into overtime. For the first time in this series, the two teams heading into extra time. And, of course, we saw the game-winning goal from uh, Trent Wilson just 16 seconds into overtime. And the Warriors win it on tonight, 4-3, the final score. It's been a, and it's been a pretty even game, too, Trevor. The shots are close, and uh, it's probably the way it should be is uh, overtime tonight. Yeah, it's been a tight one all night long, so overtime is upon us here in a 3-3 game. Puck back out at center now. Jack Pridham, who scored twice so far tonight, works his way back in on the right wing side, down to the corner, centered in front, scores! Trent Wilson, 16 seconds into overtime! The Warriors win, 4-3 the final! Well, isn't that something else? Just like that. Beautiful rush by Pridham, gets a point, another point on the night, and a, and a, and a great touch goal. You know, for a team that went to overtime 17 times in the regular season, they knew how to end it early in postseason overtime. Jack Pridham from the corner, centers in front, and Trent Wilson puts it home up and over the right shoulder of Carter.